I built my own AI news agent that pulls from sources that I choose across countries, across any language, across any news publication platform, and it gives me a two bullet summaries for every single article. My morning briefing is now just two minutes long and I'm catching updates that my colleagues miss because they're still stuck with Google News. And the best thing about it is I didn't need to code anything in order to get it started. I just use this one platform that's free and now I don't waste as much time going through my news every day. This isn't just a place where you get preset categories of news. No, you type in what you want and you get exactly tailor-made news for exactly the topics that you're interested in. So here's actually something that most people don't realize. The best AI news breaks in local publications two or three days before it hits English media. So for example, when a Chinese lab releases a new model or a European VC announces funding, it's in their local language first. And by the time it hits TechCrunch or your newsfeed, it's already a day or a few hours behind, which means you're probably too late. So I used to spend about 45 minutes scrolling Google News and Apple News and Reddit and X every single morning. And I was realizing that I was still missing about half of the stories that are actually relevant to my business. Part of that is because of language barriers and other part is just because sometimes the important news wasn't surfaced to me. So because of that, I built this custom system that pulls from sources that I pick, it reads any language and it translates it automatically and then gives me two bullet summaries so I can skim any article in 30 seconds instead of having to read them for five minutes or more. The tool is called Sift AI. They just launched their public beta and you can fully customize it and add your own sources, your own instructions and your own prompts and it's completely free. In the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how you can download it, how you can set up your custom channels and add global sources and why I switched off of Google News completely. Let's build it. Click on the link in the description and you can either download it on the iOS App Store or on the Google Play Store. I have an iPhone, so I'm on the App Store. And if you click on the link in the description, you end up at this page. It's called Sift AI Native News Agent. You can simply download it right here. And it's right here as part of my apps. Here are the apps that I used to go through before. And here's now the latest. It integrates reliable sources and it makes sure that I'm always up to date. I simply log in with my Google ID and I'm interested in technology, economy and finance. Click next. Now here I can specify different channels. I'm gonna say AI policy in US and this one sounds really great. New AI laws, policies, regulations. I'm also gonna go with US technology policies. I'm searching for another channel called tech funding in AI startups and I wanna select the AI venture capital and funding trends, this one and then venture capital AI investments. And I'm gonna select the AI LLM model updates and the Gemini OpenAI and Claude updates. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I also love AI video tools. So subscribe to that and check out some of my videos here. But I'm gonna search for video AI tools and I'm gonna select these two channels here. Then I click on next. And this is now my feed of what I'm following. Creating your own custom AI news agent is super simple. You can select any topic that you want, any language, any publication, any news source, and you can even include a custom prompt and instruction to your AI news agent that filters out anything that you don't want or that you want to particularly focus on. In order to do that, click on the search icon in the top right corner. Now type for whatever you're looking for. For example, I can say AI tools to be more productive and make passive income. I'll search for it. And if there's not a channel on that particular topic, out there, which this one is very particular, I don't think there is, I can create a new channel. Simply click the plus icon right here. Let's create that channel from scratch. And here we can see that it has AI tools for productivity and passive income. It's currently looking through what sources are relevant to this particular topic. And it found 15 sources that we can see right here. TechCrunch, Wired, The Verge, and a few other ones. If we want to include more sources, we can do that by clicking on customize and we can add more sources right here. For example, if we want to include the Wall Street Journal, we can add them right here and we can update it right away. On top of that, you can also add international news. For example, I'll click on customize. I can search for broad topics. And here, for example, let's include the asiabusinessoutlook.com as well as Asia Biz Today. Let's save that. And in order to make your AI agent even more powerful, I usually add custom instructions. For example, in the customize field, I can add the content filter right here. And I will give it this particular filter. Only include stories, ideas, or AI tools that help me be more productive and make passive income. And I can save this right away. And now it already loaded from the different sources that we've selected. And it was able to find a top story. Uh, for example, here Shopify reveals 18 ways to monetize AI. And it gives me the two bullet points here, as well 
well as the whole article that gives me the different ways to monetize AI. If I want to share this article with someone, I can message it to anyone I'd like. And as more news articles or blog posts are published that fit that particular content filter, as well as my instructions, they will be added to this particular feed. If I click on latest, I get the most recent news articles. For example, one hour ago, Google's VO 3.1 AI video model lands on Polo AI, and I can click on that to get more information. We can see that this comes from the latest AI tool updates for video creation, which is a space I'm following. I can simply scroll this, and instead of having to read the whole article, which is down here, I get the key insights. For example, this one has the title, Study Finds Text LLM Outperform Multimodal Models Due to Dataset Bias, and it gives me the two most important bullet points right here. And that happens with all of the articles right here. As you can see, it always gives me two bullet points of the things that I need to remember. It gives me here the latest news that uh, Anthropic launches Claude Haiku 4.5, which is a faster and safer AI. And it gives me the two bullet detailed summary on what this article is about. If I want to read more, I can simply tap on this and I see the entire article here. Or I can look through the sources where this was reported because this is already the aggregated amount. And as we can see here, we have multiple reputable companies such as CNET, TechCrunch, uh, VentureBeat, and the Decoder, all reporting on the same topic. If I want to get further Further information, I can now click on the arc article and I'm being redirected to TechCrunch. And this is really where Sift AI's flow really works so well because I do not only have access to the summary of all the articles, I also have access to the direct link and I can read the article where it was published. And I can make the decision which sources do I trust and which sources do I want to follow. And all of these are now articles or things that I could cover on my YouTube channel in order to stay ahead of the curve. Now to an exciting bit. All of these features are so easy to use and fascinating, but it gets even better. The best thing about this app is that it doesn't only include in imported sources from, let's say, the Wall Street Journal and TechCrunch, it aggregates new sources from across the globe. So if I want any of my AI agents to be more global and have a bigger reach, I can create either a custom agent that looks for AI news from abroad, or I can add international news agencies to the sources of my specific agents. For example, if I want to stay ahead of the top models that are coming out of China, I can create a custom AI AI tool that sources mainly the local AI news channels in China or in Asia in order to get the most accurate up-to-date information that is filtered by the specific sources from a first-hand perspective. For example, the China Daily is, is part of this sources and it even has some international news sources where I don't even know what uh, these symbols mean. <laughs> but the best thing about it is it's all being translated into English in the first place. In the content brief here, I can click on this and I can say something along the lines of, prioritize local Asian or Chinese news sources and look for firsthand reporting of how this model is better than other models. And I can even tell it to prioritize local uh, Asian or Chinese news sources. And I'll click on save. If we want to now scroll down, we can see here some of the newest AI tools that have been announced out of China. This means now that we can source specific news stories or important news from specific countries or specific news sources, and we can stay ahead of the curve and get the news before other people hear of them. If we want our other existing AI agents, for example, the AI tool for productivity, to have international news, we can go back to the sources and we can add more sources that are international. For example, I can go German startup news and I can add the German relevant European startups, Deutsche startup, Munich startup, uh, news feeds here to my list. And that is a good list. Let's save it. And now my AI tools for productivity news are now more tailored and include German news as well. If you found this helpful and valuable, consider subscribing. I have a few videos coming up about how to be more productive with AI and to make passive income with that. Check out one of those videos here. And if you subscribed, you'll see the next one.